What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the studio tour for 2019. You guys have been asking for this and today I'm going to show you everything. We've got two different camera angles. We've got one right here and we've got one right here. We got the mobile camera as well as a GoPro on a tripod. Today I'm going to show you everything. Let's check it out. So the very first thing that you guys are going to want to see is my gaming setup where I do all of my gaming and recording. So we've got this uh, Merax chair right here, pretty decent chair. And this right here is where the magic happens. So we've got a very, very nice, and I mean a very nice, this is a AKG C214 microphone on a Rode PSA arm right here. I absolutely love it. This is my setup. We have a 27 inch screen here and we've got a 34 inch ultra wide on the right hand side. The way I set everything up is I game right here and then right here you may be able to see I'm running OBS Streamlabs. Microphone's picking me up a little bit. Plus I've got two different folders open. One is a shared folder and the other folder is a folder that I run so that we get everything running good. How's about that? That is really cool. Uh, set up as far as everything goes down here. Reese's cups. Always got to have Reese's cups. Now really nice keyboard, really nice mouse. I love those things. The stream deck. You've got to get a stream deck if you want to do stuff like this. Plus we've got the G-O-O-G-L-E home right there as well as somewhere for me to put my cell phone if I need to do that. I'm using a Shure MVI. I can't remember the exact model, but that is the interface that I'm using for the microphone. Of course, an Xbox One um, record, <laughs> Xbox One controller right there. And then here is my PC. This is what we're running right here. A lot of really cool stuff in here. It's a Ryzen 9 3900X. It's a Ryzen 3rd Gen. Also got a 2080 Ti in there. It's a really neat setup. It's a very nice, very nice computer. Actually, I have two setups, almost identical. But in a nutshell, that is the gaming setup. That's what I use every single day. Directly to the left of that, this is my editing rig. So what we've got is we've got stuff pulled up on the left-hand side right there. And then on the right-hand side, this is where I edit. I use Final Cut Pro, using Final Cut Pro 10 right now. And you can see we've got farm sim news from a few days ago pulled up currently but this is kind of my setup i have everything pulled up where i need to there and plus we have all everything there description and stuff and then we've got a really good overlay right here from x skin this is on a, uh, a wireless keyboard mouse both of these they're on this kind of pad thing together plus i've got the wireless mouse on there as well as far as for voiceover and things, just in case something bad were to happen, I also have a Behringer UM, I can't remember the exact number on this, uh, it's the UMC44 HD. It's a really cool interface, uh, it doesn't sound the greatest, gotta be honest with you, but it works well for what I need. And then right over here, we have an extra voiceover microphone. In case anything were to happen, I just grab that, pull it over, do voiceover, and we're good. And it'll record straight in and be fine. As far as speakers, I use the Yamaha HS5, and those are running XLR cable out of this guy right here. We've also got the triple, uh, triple guys right here, because what I do is I'll charge each of these every Sunday night. And of course, we've got the extra charger right there. But in a nutshell, that is my editing rig. That's where all the, everything gets edited. If we go from over there, and we make our way all the way around the room. Oh, it's Farm Sim News, baby. Hashtag Farm Sim News. <laughs> Here is where all the magic happens for Farm Sim News. Again, we've got a very similarly specced PC with some change and some different stuff going on with this one. So same case. However, we have a Ryzen 7 2700X in there. We also have an EVGA 1070. So. Those are some differences there. Uh, exact same keyboard, exact same mouse. I have a stream deck here as well, but it's a smaller stream deck. Um, we are using 
kind of similar monitor setup. This is a nice triple screen setup. The outsides are 20 inch. The center is a 27 inch 4K. So if I need to do stuff in 4K, I can. Um, over here, these guys right here, the main gaming rig, that is a 1440. That is a 1080. And then we have a 5K iMac with a 4K editing screen. That kind of gives you an idea of what's going on over there. These are really cool. Now I've got some different setups here. This right here is my interface. I use a Focusrite 2i2 second gen, and that is running the Shure KSM 27. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Also, we've got all of our lighting controls here. So if I need to turn on my hair light, that's gonna be right there. I know it's just a lamp, but it works. We've also got a ring light right here. It's gonna be a little bit bright. Yeah, there we go. I have a ring light, so in case I wanna do some really intimate stuff. Uh, we also have the main kind of streaming lights, one kind of angled down, one angled up a little bit. So we've got those two, and then this one goes to the monitors. These are Rockville monitors, all blacked out. So you can't really see what's going on on the sides. But this is great, it's an optimal setup for me. We also have right here a lavalier setup. I have a couple different lavalier microphone setups for work. Uh, currently I'm using another one. And then naturally we have our backup. I'll turn this on. We've got our backup microphone right here. Also got some water. It's just water sitting around, but you always want to make sure you stay hydrated. So in a nutshell, that's your farm sim news setup. Going from farm sim news setup to the left, we've got a closet door and we're going to open that up and it's dirty and filthy and unorganized in here, but it's got all of my stuff, cords, cables, boxes, extra things, all kinds of stuff. Anything that I could want or need during the day, I've got access to. Also on the outsides of the Farm Sim News setup, I do have some Lego sets. We've got quite a few in there. These are some of the new ones that I've been building down here. I love Legos and I really, really enjoy them. These are all kind of like the real life cars and stuff that we've got. Plus, got a brand new one. Just picked that one up today, actually. Fun story. If we make our way all the way around, we have the console set up. Most of you guys know that I am a PC farm sim news or farm simmer. Um, however, yes, I've got consoles. We've got a couple of them over here. We have the Xbox One X, we have the PS4 Pro. And uh, if we make our way over here, we've got a couple other stuff as well. We've got the Google Stadia stuff. I tell you what, I bought that, did one video, two videos maybe, and put it away because it stinks. And then we've got the Nintendo Switch over there as well. So all that's kind of hooked up together. Got a couple different HDMI setups. Uh, this is a Vizio 50 inch 4K smart TV. It's an uh, M series. M is in Mike. That's my name. So. I believe that that's that, so, or V-Series, sorry, V-Series, something like, anyway, smart TV. Way too smart for me, but I love it anyway. And then, of course, most of the games that I play, I really enjoy Grand Theft Auto and Minecraft and all stuff like that, and all that is primarily on Xbox. Now, if we make our way from here to the right, I do have a bathroom set up in here as well. It's kind of nice, I always like to keep everything nice and clean. And uh, get, when you gotta go, you gotta go. But always keep your stuff clean. And really lastly, we've got futon in here. This is a futon from way, way back when that was behind the scenes. There we got our farm sim news set up all lit up right now. And of course we have some up lights around the room as well. We've got four different ones. We've got purple ones on the left and the right, and then blue with the red background surrounding the farm sim news. I do have a lot of sound panels in here because this is a very live room. So we've got great curtains, lots and lots of sound panels. So that is that. Now, we also have a bunch of smart lighting as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six smart light bulbs up top, plus all of the LED strips around the room are all smart as well, which is really nice. Now I've got one back here. You could barely see. And we've got some extra lighting under these two desks as well. I really like to game it out. I love the LED lights. I think it looks really cool. So that's why I've got those turned on. But this is kind of the basic setup that you guys see normally. So in a nutshell, that is it. That's my office. There's, I would say there's not a whole lot to it. There's a bunch 
to it. It is a crazy setup. I have a lot of fun with it. It's way over the top for Farming Simulator, but when you need to be able to do different stuff, when you need to do a mod video and then Farm Sim News, and then you need to maybe check out something that happened on Xbox or PlayStation, you can do it just like that. Everything's hooked up together. Um, we've got everything running through a couple of Elgato capture cards. Every console, every piece of equipment has its own capture card, so there's no overlay or anything like that. A lot of really good stuff happening. I love this setup. This is perfect for me. What's perfect for me may not be perfect for you. So let me know down in the comment section below, what is your gaming setup like? What do you have? Are you run an Xbox, PlayStation, PC? Maybe you're like me, you've got both consoles, you got two PCs plus an iMac. Maybe you've got more than that. Let me know down in the comment section below. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed to the channel. If you have any questions about my setup, Oop, hit my microphone. Let me know down in the comment section below. Again, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.